Hey, welcome back guys. I'm going to start my LMMS tutorials back over uh, with the new version of LMMS and show you a couple things that have been updated along the way. Um, first I'm going to show you how to import sound fonts once again. Um, and we're going to use the same one that we used last time. It's going to be at schristiancollins.com and I'll put a link in the description. And we'll go ahead and click on Virtual Instruments. And we'll go to General User GS. We'll scroll down and click the download link right here. And so that's, that's done there. Now I have um, in my Downloads folder, we can click my File Explorer. Let me close out Chrome. Let me close out uh, LMMS actually too. Uh, I'm going to go to my file explorer. I'm going to go to downloads. And here's the general user uh, zip file. We're going to right click. We're going to go to extract all. Just extract it right here. And now we have two windows. We have two file explorer windows open. I'm just going to put them side by side. On this one I'm going to navigate to the correct folder to put it in. So it's this PC, it's going to be under C. Program files, no longer x86. This is a 64-bit program now, so good. So we're going to be in program files, LMMS, data, samples. And here we go. Now I did notice, um, well, I thought there was a sound fonts folder somewhere, but let's just go ahead and create one. Okay. And I'm actually going to put this general user in there. Now this time I'm just going to drop just the sound font in there. Instead of all the files, I'm going to drag general user over and drop it into sound fonts. And I'm going to go ahead and put these other ones that I got in there too. I really like um, video games and I found a bunch of cool video game sound fonts. So I'm putting them in there as well. If you're interested in where to find those video game um, system sound fonts, just let me know in, the uh, in a comment. So now that we have our sound fonts put into the correct folder under LMMS, we can go ahead and close these file explorers out. And I'm going to open up LMMS again. And I'm going to do one more thing here. But first, we are going to click on this little samples button here. We're going to click on the sound fonts folder. And here you can see general user GS is there. So if you want to use that as an instrument, you can. Or put it in its own track. One more thing I wanted to show you since I've had a little time to mess around with LMMS is how I really like to start simple. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the FX mixer and the controller rack, which I'll get into what those are later. I'm also going to remove all of these other tracks. And I'm going to set my BPMs down to about 80, because that's a good general number that I like to go around. So that's all I'm going to do to set up. And just to show you, I can actually, these are the sound fonts. You can click on the gear icon uh, real quick. When you click on the track that you're in and you click on the instrument, it opens up that instrument's properties. Now a sound font file is just a collection of different instruments. So you can change your instrument on the fly to something else. And you do that by clicking on this little um, wrench icon and then choosing a different instrument. Okay. So now that I have this set up the way I want, I'm going to close these properties out. There's one more thing I want to do, one more thing I want to show you. I'm actually going to enable this too. That is the CPU... Uh, graph for the instruments. 
So now that I have everything the way that I want it, and I'm probably going to use, I, I want, when I open up LMMS, I kind of want it to look like this every time. I want this general user to be here. I want my tempo to be at 80 BPM. I want this to be on, all that good stuff. So I noticed that there is, now this may have been in the old version too, but here it is in the, in the new version. So we'll just go ahead and say save as default template. So now that I've clicked that, then when I close out of LMMS, I'm going to hit discard on the project. And now I'm going to open up the software again. And you can see here, it's exactly the way that I left it, except for this. The click to enable the CPU is off, but no big deal. So that is just a quick how to install a sound font and how to save your default template however you want. Now, if you want to have all those other things open and you don't know how to get them back, that's this little bar right here. And you have your song editor, that's the first one your baseline editor, your piano roll, automation, FX mixer, project notes, and controller rack. But if you don't want all that stuff, you can just close it all out. Because I like to keep my projects nice and simple when I, when I open up this program. Maybe later when I'm a little bit more advanced, I'll probably add a few more things into the default template. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video in the new version of LMMS 1.2.2.